How you guys doing? My name is Matt Balducci, the host and CEO of the Slide Edge Network. And what we're gonna cover today is how to become more likable and build trust fast. So why is this so important to success? In my opinion, if you're not liked, you will not become successful. Now, I'm gonna go a little bit to the other side now and let you guys know that you should not worry if people like you. And I know those kind of combat each other, right? But ultimately what it comes down to is that you have to understand how to be likable. And it is a very simple formula to how to do that. So I'm gonna tell you a really quick story and then we're gonna dive into those points. A few years ago, I had a friend come to me and she was basically crying and I didn't understand why. And we sat down and she explained to me that she just had a job review. And in this job review, she got perfect five out of fives for everything other than likability. And she was actually a fast growing person in her industry and she basically hit a wall. She was at mid-level management and wanted to get to that next step and potentially become a project manager or go into you know the executive ranks and what she sat down and she showed me was her different rankings and ultimately what I realized is that she just didn't understand why she wasn't liked she kicked butt at performing the job people understood that when she said she was gonna do something she was gonna get it done and everybody loved her work but they didn't like her. So we sat down and she came to me and she said, Matt, I don't know what to do. Obviously something's wrong. And what we sat down and talked about were five things. And these were the five things that after a year of implementing them, all of a sudden at her next job review, she got a promotion and her ranking to become likable went up from one out of five to a five out of five. And so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna explain those five things to you guys. And I hope you understand that likability is actually something you can learn and it's a skill that you can develop over time, just like my friend did. So let's dive into the five main things. The first one is you need to smile more. A lot of people in the world have what we call the resting bitch face. So I want you guys to see right now the difference in terms of what a smile looks like compared to what my resting bitch face looks like. And tell me if you saw me on the street, who would you like more just initially? So I want you to first look at my RBF. So here it is. And then I want you guys to see how I look when I smile. So here's the deal. I'm not saying I have the perfect smile, but ultimately if you don't smile guys, what you're gonna realize is that people are not going to instantly like you. Here's what you need to go do. Stop the video right now, get a mirror, smile at it. Sit there for 15 minutes and just smile at yourself. And you need to do this constantly and practice. If you're not somebody who naturally smiles, which there's a lot of people out there who don't, you need to constantly do this. So that's number one, smile more. Now I know that sounds cliche and weird and you're like Matt obviously here's the deal you need to consciously think about it every day are you smiling enough when I walk around guys I don't care if I'm at the gym putting in a hardcore workout you better believe between my reps I'm smiling when I'm walking around the streets I'm smiling when I'm at work or I'm doing a client meeting or I'm working with my guys I'm smiling and the reason is is instantly you're gonna become more likable instantly just try it for a week and put in the comments below after you try it for a week and let me know how it goes number two you need to compliment people. So over time, I don't know how I developed this skill, but for whatever reason, I can notice the littlest things. Like if I show up and my receptionist has a new hairstyle, you better believe I'm gonna say nice hairstyle. And the reason that I do these little things and I look for them, again, just like smiling, you wanna be conscious of this. You don't need to every day go, oh, I wonder if someone changed something. You need to look and observe and basically figure out what has changed and give people compliments. Now, if they don't change their hair every week, what you should be doing is complimenting basically anything. Maybe they did a good job on an assignment or maybe they gave you better service than you expected. So no matter what I'm doing, guys, this kind of comes back to, you can even just say thank you as well, which is huge. And ultimately what you're going to find is you're going to become instantly more likable by complimenting people. I highly recommend, again, consciously thinking about that as you go. So when I was talking to my friend, what I told her to do at her job was every day to compliment at least five people. It didn't have to be anything crazy, but five people every single day. And I said, keep a tally sheet and actually track it. And she did. And again, her likability score went up. She got a promotion. I'm excited to see if she becomes one of the vice presidents soon in her company. So that's number two. Number three is you have to learn how to build short and quick rapport with everyone. So one of the things that I've learned in time is that if you can get somebody to talk about themselves, they are going to like you. Instantly, people love to talk about themselves. So what I want to explain to you guys is pretty simple, a quick tip on how to do this. So I have a repertoire, if you will, um, a closet, guns, whatever you want to call it, of different questions that I can bring in anytime I meet somebody 
to just learn about them really fast. And so I don't just instantly go, how you doing and that. I actually go, how you doing today? And I wait for them to answer and then I give them my answer. So I'm gonna make a video later on what's called two questions and a share. And essentially what that is is that you're talking 33% of the time, they're talking 66% of the time. The third thing is you're going to want to build a rapport. And again, all it comes down to is this, learn about them, let them talk about themselves, have them tell you about their day, and don't just ask them a blanket question and not listen. So if you're like, hey, how you doing today? They're gonna say, I'm doing well. And then I'm gonna follow up with my second question before I answer with anything of mine. I'm gonna go, awesome, well, did you have a great New Year's? Did you have a good Christmas? Or some sort of question. Do you have plans for the weekend? And now they're gonna answer that. And then after that, I'm gonna tell them my plans or I'm gonna tell them how my day's going. And what we're doing here, guys, I'm building an instant rapport. Number four, never gossip. This one's gonna be simple. You guys know what gossip is. It's talking behind someone's back. Never do it. The reason is it's not worth it. If you're gossiping to your friend, you better believe that that person is actually thinking that you're probably gossiping about them to other people. In the past, when I was a younger businessman, I made tons of mistakes where I would talk about one of my other employees to another employee. And over time, my culture crumbled. And I never understood why. And then what I found out later on, one of my employees came to me and said, Matt, Listen, the way you talked about X person made me think that you were talking about that way about me, so I became very conscientious about what I told you. And ultimately, I wanna teach you guys right now that you should never, ever, ever gossip. Number five is when you're learning about these people and you're complimenting them and you're getting to know them is you actually wanna listen. And so here's where this comes down to is in the follow-up. So if you just kind of blinkingly go out there and you do this all the time and you just walk into the office and you say the same questions, you ask the same things over and over again, people are gonna read really, really, really quickly into your BS. What I found over time is that you actually have to be genuinely interested. Now, for this person that I was teaching, she actually didn't really care about the learning about people, but she did wanna become more likable. So I told her, I go, listen, at worst case scenario, what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you keep those little details in your head. And then the next time when you see that person, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to them and actually ask them about the kid, their kids if you know they have kids. Ask them about their weekend plans. Maybe they told you they were gonna go uh, kayaking. How was kayaking? All of a sudden now you're building a long term rapport with people. I do this all the time at coffee shops, places I go. When I go to the gym and I see the same people there, I do this all the time. While you're watching this video, somebody's going to comment below and go, wow, this is manipulative. This is controversial, Matt. No, this is truly how to be successful. This is how to become more likable. If you ever watch successful people, they do all these things very, very well. So to recap, how to become more likable. Number one, you need to smile more. Turn off this video. I'm telling you, go do it. Practice it. Try it for a week. Comment below. Let me know how it goes. Number two, compliment people more. Number three, you have to learn how to build rapport. Number four, never gossip. I don't have to say anything else about that, just don't do it. And number five, when you're following up and you're learning the rapport, you're listening, you're complimenting, you're getting to know people, you have to follow up with something. Whether it's another follow-up question and building that relationship, and that's super, super important to success. Whether you're like myself, which is an entrepreneur, a salesperson, a motivator, hopefully you guys can see that maybe I'm likable. And ultimately what it comes down to, guys, is pretty simple is that once you learn those five things and you implement them now, in a couple weeks, you're gonna notice a completely different light in your life, which is people are actually gonna smile at you. They're gonna like you. You're gonna be like, what's going on? And it's because of this, and you have to add it into your life. So I hope that you guys got some value from this video. Subscribe below, comment, comment, please. Share this video to somebody out there that you know has a resting bitch face because I think they're gonna get a lot from this video and basically help as many people as you possibly can as that's my goal with the Slide Edge Network. Thank you so much.